Hey, teach me something, Michael. So we're going to be going through powdery mildew. So we have actually recently seen on social media a few people sending some photos of these weird white marks on their plants. And it's powdery mildew. So you, we will also go through grey mould as well. So grey mould, is you'll see it most commonly through the winter as you're potting... Well, I'm just going to sweep by a magpie. Um, <laughs> the top layer of your potting mix stays wet for quite a while. It doesn't dry out enough. And you'll start seeing a bit of mould underneath the plant on the leaves start dying off. That's grey mould. So I've got a product that I would recommend that actually works for both of those problems. And it's Mancozeb. So it says on there use two capfuls. So the tap, two capfuls per three litres. We use a lower dosage. I use one cap every five litres. So why we do that? Because the... The mancozeb actually leaves a residue, so actually I'll first, I'll show you what the powdery mildew looks like first. Um, so you'll see all these white markings, oh, it's more noticeable on, on the actual flower head. So we've just had this Benny Musume just get a little bit festy, just so we can do this video and show you. So you'll see, it's like a mould on there, and after a while that white powder will, will disappear, and you'll start getting these, these blotches here. So that is from powdery mildew. So, if you, when you've used the Mancozeb, you'll notice Mancozeb leaves a residue. So if you're using the, the recommended dosage, it, these, it just looks like dirt, like dirty water's just been splashed onto it. So they'll be a lot more noticeable if you're using the, the dosage it says. So we use a lower dosage just so it's not, it's still noticeable, just not as bad. So if you do notice some of the plants that you receive from us with this dirty water look, like it's been splashed on them. That's just, we've just treated it as a prevention. So just in case, but it will disappear either. You can use your fingers to, to rub it off. You can use a paintbrush uh, from watering. It'll happen or as it develops new growth from the center, eventually it will grow out of it too. So it will disappear. Um, where, where were we? I'm starting to lose a How train do you of spread? How does it spread? How does it spread? So it spreads through spores. So, it can happen through touching your plants. So if you, one morning or afternoon or whatever, you just feel like, you know, you're inspecting your plants and you do have a bit of powdery mildew and you get it on your, you can actually transfer those from the leaf, the spores onto your fingers. And then if you're going to touch other plants, it can actually transfer onto those other plants as well. So it can happen also through wind, through watering as well. So best to isolate the plant from everything else because it is, what can you say? It's contagious. <laughs> it, will, it will spread easily. So use your mancozeb. Uh, it can actually last. It's a, it works systemically, so the plant actually absorbs it into its system, and it can last for about six to eight weeks. So it's it's got a good longevity into it, uh, working in the plant. So just isolate it. Um, it works really well, and yeah, always regularly monitor your plants, especially now as we're getting a little bit more rainfall, heading into a, like a wet season. So it's, you'll notice it in high humid areas, so if you're in like Queensland or if you just recently had a heap of rain and your daytime temperatures are kicking up there, um, humidity will increase and it's a perfect time for, for fungal issues to, to pop up. So if you're noticing you, you've got a little bit of white powder on it, it's most likely powdery mildew. Um, Mancozeb works really well and yeah, hope that helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.